Hello Libra. This is Renee and welcome back. Let's get a weekend forecast. What's going on in the next 48 hours for Libra? Let's see what's going on. Spirit, give me a message for Libra. For Libra's greatest good message for Libra, please. Okay, Libra. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Renee, and this is General Message. This is the next 48 hours. What's going on for Libra? Okay, we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. What are you blaming? <clears throat> well, someone's blaming you, Libra. What's going on? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So I feel like, Libra, you're going through some kind of learning process. There's some things going on for you. Maybe it's something that you fully don't understand. But I feel like things are changing. You're kind of evolving. You're growing, Libra. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Okay? So something is changing in your world. At the bottom we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So let's look a little deeper. What it is that you are worrying about, Libra? Let's look into the tarot. Something's going on for Libra. What's going on in the next 48 hours? But I feel like something's changing for you. I feel like at the moment you may be worrying about something, maybe worrying about your finances or about a certain situation, and you're trying to gain closure. You're trying to find out the answers, the reason why this is happening. But I feel like as you go through these changes, Libra, you are evolving, you are growing in this situation. We have the Two of Cups. So this could be dealing with relationships. This could be dealing with something in your relationship. Something is changing or evolving. The King of Wands. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of passion. There could be some very strong conversation here. Okay, the Emperor. So Libra, wow, okay. <clears throat> and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Whatever the situation is, I feel like you're try trying to take control of the situation. You're trying to figure out the situation. Um, what is going on? Let's get some more cards here. Let's clarify these cards first. Okay, I'm going to use another deck to clarify. Okay, Spirit, give me a message for this. I feel like this is some kind of relationship. It could be friendship. Um, maybe you're having trouble in a very close relationship that you're having. There's some kind of struggle going on. And you're trying to gain control in the situation. And you really want to work things out. You want them to... Go back to how they were, but better. Hmm. Okay. Spirit, give me a message for this Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups, please? Okay, we have the Temperance, the Strength card, and the Ten of Swords. So something's over. Something had to end, Libra. The next 48 hours, something has to end. Something has to gain its balance. Some kind of closure needs to happen. Um, but I feel like you're strong enough to handle whatever this is. I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You're, you've had patience in this situation for a very long time, hoping that things would work out, that things would get better. And you've had a lot of faith and hope that they would, but I feel like 
something has to come to a closure. Something has to come to an end. And maybe that's the reason why you're worrying. You feel like maybe you failed. And maybe you're blaming the other person about the situation. Because um, we have blame and failure and change. Okay. Tell me more about this uh, King of Wands. What is this King of Wands energy? I feel like he's very passionate. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of love interest. I feel like this King of Wands, he's trying to get you to make some sort of decision that will actually go into his favor and not yours. But he's steady throwing out the offer to you to accept some kind of situation. And I feel like you it's like a tug of war. Um, you, you know that this situation really isn't going to make you feel at your best. But I feel like it's kind of going in the other person's favor. Yeah. Okay. The Ace of Cups. Definitely. The, they feel like you would love them more or if you accept their offer but I feel like you're kind of pulling back and forth you're you're not really you're not really falling for what they're saying Libra you're not really falling for that line um, but I feel like they have a lot of hope that you're going to stay in the picture, that you are going to accept their offer and move into some kind of situation to where they kind of have the upper hand. They have control. Tell me about this emperor energy spirit. Okay, yeah, the King of Wands again. Yeah, the King of Wands. Someone's trying to move forward in your direction. And like I said, I feel like they're trying to persuade you in a way to go with an idea, some kind of moving forward. But it, it kind of benefits them more than it benefits you. And yeah, we have the three of the three of swords. So I feel like this is kind of leaving you in doubt. You're kind of worrying about the situation. We have the lovers in reverse. I feel like you're kind of fed up, Libra. You're not really... See, we have the Ace of Cups upright and the lovers in reverse. So and I feel like this, it, at one point, you're kind of thinking about the situation you're thinking about accepting this offer because you feel like it will kind of end the conversation and move forward into something better but then here we have the emperor the king of wands the three of swords and the lovers in reverse so i, I feel like this situation it has you in doubt and uh, are really discouraged about the situation. I feel like you kind of change your mind. Like, okay, I was really going to go with this, but after I'm thinking about it, I'm, you know, what does it benefit me? What, what do I get out of this offer? You know? Yeah, we have the, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So you're wondering what you are getting out of this. What, what is going to benefit you? What is the Seven of Pentacles? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Yeah, okay. You were hoping for a union, Libra. You were hoping for something to come through. But I feel like there's a lot of truth that comes out in this conversation. There's a lot of things that become more clear. Yeah, and we have the Magician in reverse. So someone's trying to play tricks. Someone's not being very honest in the situation. Someone is trying to get over on you a little bit, Libra. I feel like someone is creating the reality that they want to see, but I feel like 
it really doesn't benefit you, benefit you or kind of balance with the reality that you see. Because you're hoping for a better outcome with this Four of Wands in reverse. You were hoping for a better outcome. But you see that the truth is coming out and it's kind of making this happiness, this happy ending a little further away. You know, like you're not really sure. I feel like there's a lot of confusion. There's, there's definitely a lot of communication that needs to be had because... Something is left unsaid. Something's something's still a little bit not clear. Okay. Okay, let's get some advice. <clears throat> let's get some advice for Libra. Fair, what advice do we have for Libra in this situation? What advice do we have? We have the Chariot, the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay. Okay, with the, the Chariot card, I feel like this may be something that you need to make a decision whether you want to move forward with the situation or whether you want to move away from it. I feel like you really want to move forward with the situation because there might be a lot of history. There might be a lot of happy times reminiscing that you're doing, thinking about the situation. But I feel like Libra, there is more to this situation and I feel like you know it. I feel like you are very curious and you may be looking into some kind of situation. You may be kind of searching for answers, whether that's if this is with someone that you care about. I feel like you're going to do a little research. You're going to do a little investigating to find out more. And um, I feel like because of that, there's going to be some kind of struggle. There's going to be some kind of challenge that you're facing because of trying to find more information. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like with this Ten of Pentacles, you're doing all of this because you're pursuing your happiness. You're trying to find that happy place. But I feel like you're kind of struggling to find that. You're struggling to work out the situation, you know. Tell me more about this chariot card, Spirit. Give me a message for this chariot. The judgment card. The page of wands. And the king of, excuse me, the knight of swords. Okay. So I feel like there's going to be a discussion that you're going to have. And... You are either going to come to a final decision about the situation because something that is said may be in the heat of the moment. Usually in the heat of the moment, a lot of truth comes out. A lot of inner feelings come out that may be hidden. Um, but I feel like it's, it's bringing you to some sort of realization. It's bringing you to some sort of feeling of Wanting change. And I feel like you're moving forward. With that feeling. Now for some of you. You're going to want to. Have more hope in the situation. Like you're. The, the answers that you come across. I really don't want to say. Don't really matter. But. You move, you're moving along with it anyway. Now, this is just for some of you. You're moving along with this situation anyway. Even though that you see the red flags, you see certain things in the conversations that you have. But you still feel like you're moving forward in the situation. Because there's so much history or...
so much that you still haven't so much information you haven't come across yet okay we have the two of pentacles we have the knight of cups and we have the sun okay so with this with the six of cups energy i feel like you know you're both reminiscing you're both thinking about each other very strongly and it could be due to some kind of separation that you're having due to this last conversation but i feel like you're thinking about each other very strongly and you're someone's going to approach you with an apology someone's coming you to you with an offer of apology and i feel like this this knight of cups is kind of like you accepting that apology and moving forward with this sun card you're trying to find that happiness that balance you're putting this back on the front burner to become a priority whereas i feel like over here I feel like you're kind of moving away from the situation you're kind of thinking about it so there may be some sort of separation now with this being a, a 48 hour reading I feel like the separation may not be that long but um, I feel like during that time I feel like you're really missing each other you're really thinking a lot about each other yeah with the with the Page of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands. So I feel like that spark is going to be reunited. We have the Strength card again. And the Page of Cups. Definitely. Definitely some kind of situation. It's being re-sparked. It's being reignited. So I feel like whatever the situation is, it's going to work out. Um, over this 48 hour span it's going to kind of be resolved it may be some kind of petty argument that you had something that may be escalated a little bit further than you thought it would but I feel like you know you you have the sun card here you have the page of cups um, so and you also have the strength card so definitely something is being re reunited and you feel more secure in the situation you feel like you're, you're gaining your strength back. And I feel like some, someone's really showing you a lot of love. It may be in, immature. Or sometimes a little... Off balance, I want to say. But I feel like when you think about this person, you feel like there's someone that you can deal with you know what I mean um, like yeah they're a jerk but they're my kind of jerk does that make any sense that's kind of what I'm getting here it could be a male or a female uh, tell me about this five of wands tell me more about this five of wands situation okay we have the queen of cups we have the chariots and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, exactly. So whatever this conflict is, whatever this struggle is, I feel like it's minor. I feel like it's minor because the Queen of Cups energy, she's very forgiving. She's very supportive. She's very, you know, um, nurturing to the situation. And so I feel like whatever this is with this Five of Wands energy, you're going to forgive this person and you're going to move forward and you're going to find your your happiness you know um the next 48 hours i feel like there may be struggle there may be some type of argument but there's going to be resolution um very quickly it looks like and look at this you have the sun and the ten of pentacles so whatever it is you're like feeling back to yourself back to normal back to happiness you know um the the sun and the the ten of pentacles that's like being content in your situation finding happiness in your situation you know um 
<laughs> very interesting I feel like whatever you're arguing about this yeah it may have been very petty so yeah whatever this is Libra I feel like there's going to be resolution and someone may buy you a gift along with the apology but whatever it is they're willing to work they're willing to plant new seeds for this relationship and move forward lots of pinnacles this could be some kind of situation at work there could be an argument at work because see with the with the eight of pinnacles you kind of look the the seven of pinnacles you're you're mastering some kind of ideas some kind of some kind of project some kind of job that you're doing you're kind of planting the seeds and look he he's grabbing an idea from that from what he's planted and he's like looking at his efforts looking at what he's built you know so and I feel like it very well could be a relationship this could have to do with work for some of you um, take it how it resonates but whatever this is within the next 48 hours there is completion there is lessons that you have learned um, so you'll be able to move on from this situation and gain your success your your happiness again you know and we have the king of wands again so this is definitely something that you're very passionate about something that you're just taking initiative doing you know very interesting let's get some let's get some moonology cards see what moonology has to say for the situation Okay, we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And we have don't let pride get in the way, more Leo energy. So you are strong enough to endure. And we also have conclusions are within reach. Okay, great. Okay, Libra, this is what I have for you for the next 48 hours. I feel like whatever this is, this conflict, whether it be in work or in love, whatever this is that you're worrying about, it's going to dissolve very quickly, kind of as quickly as it started. It's going to just, you know, transpire and dissolve. So you, you are coming back to your happiness, okay? Um, so don't worry don't worry whatever this is that's changing is you know something that you can handle you have the strength card the strength card actually came out three times in this reading so you're definitely on your game when it comes to anything with work or in love you have the strength to endure whatever it is that you're going through okay Libra Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if you have any further questions or further, if you need any further clarity on your situation, take a look back at your uh, end of February reading, uh, which is a couple readings back. And uh, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay? Um, and Libra. Until your next reading. Many blessings, love and light.